One in eight people in the UK is affected by a heart attack every single year. This means that in a room of 50 people, the likelihood that six of us will suffer a heart attack is pretty high. Now, as you might have read on newspapers or watching the news, you might have heard about some amazing medical breakthrough that allows you to save the lives of millions of people by regenerating parts of their bodies. Most of this medical technology involves the use of stem cells. The majority of the cells in our bodies are specialized. They build in specific ways to carry out special functions. Stem cells, on the other hand, are unspecialized cells. They simply haven't decided what they're going to do. When I was a child, I had the ability to become a ballerina. And as many of us, we all had the ability to become something, engineers, doctors, and so on. As we grew older, we went to school, we then went to college, and we specialized into specific areas, such as engineering. If I now take an engineer and I put him at a football pitch, can I expect him to play as well as Cristiano Ronaldo? I can't. And the same goes for specialized cells in our bodies. They build in specific ways so that they can carry out the specific functions. Stem cells are different, right? They're just like that child that has the potential to become anything that he wants to become. Scientists have now seen that if we take a stem cell and we put it in the zones of injury of the heart, the heart is able to regenerate itself. These cells are very exciting to work with. But the issue with them is that there is a lot of mystery about how they actually work. The truth is that we don't know enough about them to put them into patients. So in order to overcome this challenge in my PhD, I'm now developing methods where we're recreating the environment in our very big bodies into very small dishes. And through simple microscopy, we have been able to show that our stem cells have a supportive role in the heart. When you inject the stem cells in an environment that mimics the damaged blood vessels in your body, the stem cells stretch and try to get the blood networks together. The blood vessels then sprout and then they're able to get the heart to work again. So the main aim of my project is to then be able to use these methods to then create a very specialized cells where patients can actually get the cells injected in their bodies and then regenerated. If this happens, it's really great because what we will get is that we will eliminate our reliance on organ donations. And most importantly, we will reduce the waiting list for heart transplant. Thanks for listening.